This is the command we issued to build SimplePick from the source code. And this one command here at the command line basically does four steps. The first step is pre-processing, basically including any header files and getting that code into the compilation process. Then compiling, taking the C code and turning it into assembly code. And then assembling, taking that assembly code and turning it into object code. So now it's gone from something we could read as assembly code into something we can't read in a machine format as object code. And the last step is linking. So it's taking the object code for our program, simplepick.c, and it's linking it with other object code that's provided by microchip, in particular processor.o that I mentioned in the previous video that has the virtual memory addresses of all the special function registers. So it links those two together and then creates a single executable program with all of the variables and functions mapped to specific memory locations. So that's all happening in this one command here. We're essentially doing four things. Um, so let's take a look at what these flags are doing when we call this, uh, when we call this XC32GCC. The first one here is minus M processor equals 32MX795F512H. So we're telling the compilation process what our PIC model is, and that does two things. One is during the compilation stage, it's uh, in the pre-processing stage, it knows which header files to use for our particular PIC model. And also during the linking stage, it knows which processor.o file to, uh, to link with our simple PIC.o code. Um, so this tells us what processor we're using. This minus O simple pick dot elf means that the output of this build process is going to be called simple pick dot elf. This minus WL here means that we have a comma delimited set of uh, flags for the linker and in particular there's just one right here. We're giving the linker this linker script, this NU32 bootloaded.ld and what that does is it tells the linker where it's allowed to put the program in PIC32 memory. In particular, our PIC32 already uses its boot flash portion of memory for our bootloader. So uh, the code that we write should be installed at a certain location so that the boot flash or the bootloader program knows where to go um, or goes to the right place uh, when it jumps out of the bootloader and executes our program. And finally, simple pick.c here is just the source code that we're going to be building. So the output of that is uh, this simple pick.elf, which is short for executable and linkable format. That's actually a very big file. It's got a lot of information in it, uh, and actually information that's useful for us to look at later, but is not needed for the actual executable. So there's one more step that takes this relatively big file here that could be hundreds of kilobytes, for example and turns it into a hex file, the executable format, that may be only 10 kilobytes, for example. And so this will take simplepick.elf and turn it into simplepick.hex, and that's actually what we put on the PIC32.